I've never met a single conservative or seen any Republican lawmaker who's ever proposed to make miscarriages illegal. I've never seen it. So please, Chank and Anna, if you have any evidence at all, I know you don't put them in your videos because you can't be bothered. Any proof at all, yeah. Chank, Anna, any at all. It doesn't exist, it's a lie. Let me ask, what is the most convincing pro-abortion, pro-choice argument to you? And why do you think it's not used by anyone who's <laughs> prominently on air from the left? Because, oh my gosh. I, you know, I've, I've argued this quite a bit if you've not seen the Change My Mind segments, but coming across this Young Turks video today, I was going, hold on a second, have they, like, yeah. they take like philosophy 101? What is this? These are the weakest arguments that yeah. you can watch bad. how to rebut abortion arguments yeah. on YouTube. And the first arguments that show up and they say, we're not going to spend a lot of time on this chapter yeah. because no one uses that beyond 12 years old, <laughs> except for Anna and Jake. Yeah. So and they do it like, I'm going to use that. <laughs> All oh right, gosh, so let me give you some insane. context here. Uh, the Democratic debates, Kamala Harris said that there uh, weren't laws regulating what men could do with their bodies right. the same way that there were for women. Ben Shapiro pointed out that that was factually inaccurate, and then the Young Turks about lost their mind. I want to set the context <laughs> before we get to the blatant lie. Here we go. Kamala Harris made a point about how women's bodies are regulated in a way that men's bodies don't get regulated. And I already Shapiro said that. <laughs> so uh, let's hear his argument. And then her comment. That, that there's not a single law that tells a man what to do with his body. Try virtually every law that applies to human beings. Right? I'm not allowed to use my body to smack my employees. I'm not allowed to use my body to sell drugs. There are lots of different things you're not allowed to do with your body. Okay, it seems pretty reasonable. Something that yeah. someone, someone here just fact check me on. Everyone just fact check me on this right now. We have a lot of sources here. I want you to read yeah. all of them because you will notice in this segment from the Young Turks, can anyone take a guess how many sources they provide? Hmm. Um, it, carry the one. Uh, no. It's, yeah, it's somewhere it's between some, zero that and would be zero. It. And zero. <laughs> yeah. it falls somewhere in there. It's possible? a spectrum of nothingness. <laughs> So they play, this, so they play 30 seconds of Ben Shapiro. This is important because yeah. you see this a lot on the left. They play 30 seconds of a Ben Shapiro clip out of context. I want you to go watch this entire video of the Young Turks in context to make sure that I'm not, yeah. I'm not trying to pull a fast one on you. They play 30 seconds and then a 10-minute video with no sources. <laughs> At all. Or scientific references whatsoever when you're discussing a biological issue. Nary an overlay. <laughs> And this is later in the video, but I thought we had to address this on the outset as quickly as possible. Um, this is something... I don't want to explain it because then they might repeat what I said again, not understanding yeah. redundancy. Yeah. This was an argument actually made on air. Do you know how many fertilized eggs, how many pregnancies end in miscarriage, right? So it's just, so do we criminalize women when that happens, right? Like well, I, some of the laws are written so poorly that, or maybe on purpose, that, that that would be the effect of some of the Republican uh, laws that are uh, being considered in, in some of the red states. Yeah. Where they say, well, look, I don't know if it was a miscarriage or an abortion. It's uh, your responsibility to prove that it was a miscarriage. And so a lot of women who have miscarriages, if those laws were to pass and they were to, and the courts were to hold them up, yeah, we'd have a massive issue. Yeah. Because there's a ton of miscarriages and they would start locking people up. Lock huh. women up. Ooh. For miscarriages. Now, I want to be really clear about something here. I've always said we don't want to be in the business of attributing motive. Right. And you always have to allow for the possibility, for it to be the most likely possibility, right? If you yeah. think that somebody is lying, it is usually more likely that they are incorrect and that they're simply um, ignorant. They have a blind spot. Yeah. Okay? I usually start off with that as a premise. Yeah. I want to be clear here. The Young Turks are lying to their audience. <laughs> this is a lie. You were going somewhere They else. are being we're deliberately, to... Chank, Anna, you are being deliberately dishonest yes. with your audience. Absolutely. I do not believe for a second that you couldn't be bothered to do any research to support this idea that Republicans want to outlaw miscarriages. Right. In a lot of red states. None of In them. In a lot names. of red Just states. Some of them, you know, those, those red states. I didn't yeah. even know how to rebut it. We'll, we'll do our best. <laughs> So I just decided I, I couldn't find all of the red states where that's absolutely right. That's absolutely correct. I agree with you, Chank. <laughs> Keep me gainfully employed. Here's the deal. I just said, let me look at the, the, the law that they found most egregious. It was Georgia, Alabama. Yeah. So even then, I guess this is something that circulated regarding the Georgia law. Snopes 
has said that this is not true oh my at all. Oh, look at that. Oh. Now, now I don't know. I don't know if there are other states where miscarriages are illegal. I've never met a single conservative or seen any Republican lawmaker who's ever proposed to make miscarriages illegal. I've never seen it. So please, Chank and Anna, if you have any evidence at all, I know you don't put them in your videos because you can't be bothered. <laughs> provide anything. Any proof at all. Yeah. Chank, Anna, any at all. It doesn't exist. It's a lie. All right, let's yes. go to the next clip. You can't argue that it's for small government. You just can't. Uh, so <laughs> when they say they're against the pro-life argument, what they're saying yeah. is, I'm against taxes on my rich benefactors. That's exactly right. Wait, wait, the wait, same, wait, wait, wait. Uh, benefactors that help fund him. Right. It couldn't be that someone. <laughs> it couldn't be that someone could argue from a small government perspective right. that murder should be illegal because that's the one fundamental role yeah. of government. Right. Right. To ensure that the citizens are kept safe, both from inside yeah. and exterior threats. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of life. So what are they? No, listen. <laughs> it couldn't possi you couldn't possibly <laughs> argue small government when you want to make miscarriages illegal, right? <laughs> Only because of your yeah. conservative benefactors. Hold on. This is something else that really yeah. bothers me. This is what you see anytime you have an opinion, whether it's climate change, whether it's abortion, whether it's the, 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 the pay gap. Anytime you have an opinion, what the left will do is they'll say, oh, you must be funded by big oil. Oh, you must be funded by the Koch brothers. I have, I have yet to receive any Koch brother money. I would gladly take it. <laughs> Here's something that I would also like people to look at, because I do see this from people on the right a little bit who are conspiratorially uh, minded, and I think it's incorrect. What is more likely, that Ben Shapiro has entirely changed his tune because he has some investors, and he does have some investors who, uh, who have made a lot of money, yeah. granted. Or if you look at, Ben Shapiro has been expressing the exact same opinions since I've known him, since he was doing a local show in Orlando, Florida from his, from his den oh, that nice, I would appear yeah. on almost every single week. And then someone looked around who had some money, said, hey, where can I invest this to, to increase influence, to get, my, to get a message out there that I agree with? Yeah. That's more likely. You often hear you say correlation doesn't equal causation. Is it more likely that Ben Shapiro, who is now expressing the exact same point of view that he had six, seven, eight, nine years ago, and you can, ba you can back check this because he's been writing books since he was four. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of material on this. He had, a, he had a Gerber spoon in one hand and a quill in the other. <laughs> nice. I gotta go back to the quill. Oh my gosh. Or the same thing with this. This happens with us. Listen, I own 100% of this company. We have a licensing yeah. agreement with the Blaze. Why? Because we were successful. They said, hey, how can we partner up? Yeah, so it's exactly. not an argument, but it's also very lazy unless you can point out someone's point of view that has entirely transformed once benefactors came in. Now, I wouldn't even say that about the Young Turks getting $20 million from, uh, from foreign investors who oh, would yeah. support a foreign caliphate, mm. because you always supported a foreign caliphate. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the next argument, because I have to let them say it in their own words. So the sperm has met the egg, and now you have a zygote. You say, well, that's obviously life, if you're in the anti-choice category, anti-abortion, etc. Well, why is that obvious? That's also a <laughs> potential life, Science. just like semen is. First it's off, you should life. say well, sperm, if you took it not out, semen. It's not viable. If you take out the semen by itself, it's not viable. If you take out the egg by itself, it's not viable. If you take out the zygote. And more it's also not viable. First off, it's not, not semen. Whoa. Sperm is the living cell. Yeah, it would yeah. be, as opposed to saying ovaries, like vaginal discharge. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you say semen? I think yeah. he means to say sperm. And no one, this is again, this is not a mainstream argument from Republicans on the right, and certainly not the one that Ben Shapiro makes or that yeah. I make. Sperm is not a life. For the same reason that a sperm is not a life, for the same reason that ovaries are not a life, or these skin cells are not a life. Remember we had someone that changed my mind, yeah. like, why is that different? Let me tell you exactly why it's different, clones. okay? Okay, humanities, <laughs> philosophy, 101, we get that you had a professor and he gave you an A on your paper because you asked a bunch of hypotheticals. It's very simple. <laughs> Only when a sperm fertilizes an egg, at the moment of conception, right. you now have unique DNA. That is not DNA of the mother, of the fodder, uh, uh, fodder, hello fodder. fodder. <laughs> it is DNA in, in, entirely unique yeah. to that new being. And I say yeah. this as someone who's researched uh, DNA, quite a bit DNA testing, and they have to do this sometimes for some of the, uh, the health stuff that I get yeah. into. The DNA can tell your eye color, your hair color, male pattern baldness, proclivity toward cancer, Alzheimer's, whether you have some kind of autoimmune conditions. It's amazing what, the, and all, if you were to take that D, a DNA sample from yourself right now, do you realize that outside of, I don't know, some really extreme mutations that might occur to environmental factors, do you realize it would be the same DNA as taken from a zygote? That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. why. It's after fertilization, it's conception, yeah. which by the way, it's not, it's no longer potential life. If you just don't kill it, <laughs> it is a human being. That's yeah. not the same with a sperm.
By the way, 96% of biologists agree that life begins after fertilization. And these are people, a majority of them identify, by the way, as pro-choice or liberal. Over 85% of them. Yeah. And science is not governed by consensus, I know. So if you don't say that 96% matters, just read a textbook. Because that's the definition. <laughs> it's the textbook definition of oh life. Gosh. That I, would take research, though. By the way, that, that, that's probably the dumbest argument that I've heard. And that's the first time that I've heard somebody say, that sperm is the same th same thing as a fertilized egg. I'm like, are you it is the most basic. Serious? It is the most basic argument, and it's one that when I was preparing to do the change my mind, when I was doing debate prep with Reg, we go, well, no one really brings it nobody, up anymore because it's so would silly. Ever do that. And you know why? Because no mainstream conservative is arguing that point. Right now, I know you get some people who are against contraception. I understand right. that, but that yeah. still is not the main line argument against abortion. No. The only consistent line to draw. You can't get into viability because that's geographically dependent. It's it's also dependent as to what era you're born in because viability is only uh, expanding. That definition, yeah. the, the more modern technology um, becomes even more modern -er technology. -er. <laughs> <laughs> But again, just like finding, just like earlier, when you're saying that uh, they want to ban, they want to make miscarriages illegal, please find me the legislative body that is trying to push for abortion legislation that involves making masturbating illegal. Right. Yeah. Mm -mm. No one is saying that your sock drawer is Auschwitz. <laughs> Let's go. Well, yours may be. Let's nope. go to the next clip. <laughs> nope. Now, everyone agrees, by the way, they'll lie to you and they mislead you all the time. Once the baby Do is they? viable, <laughs> it is an independent life form. What? And all liberals, progressives, pro-choice people agree <laughs> that once it's an independent life form, it has rights. Yeah. What? And, it, oh. and you can't have an abortion at that point, okay. right? Okay, 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 that's very clear. Everyone agrees. Okay, Cenk, what's the week? <laughs> everyone agrees. Yeah. Cenk, Anna, please, this is a call to you. What's the week? 18? 22? Is that Colorado? Is it, is, is, is it 28? Is it 32? Since all liberals agree, oh, agree yeah. just like apparently Republicans want to make miscarriages illegal, what's the week? Viability is a moving target. Here's something else. Try to find any progressive right now running for the Demo running for the DNC. Yeah. Any Democratic candidates. I know that Bernie, Elizabeth Warren, would not answer. They did not think that abortion legislation should be dependent on viability. They said up until birth. Yeah. They wouldn't put any limitations on it. So I've seen that. The only one who I did see put limitations on it, any restrictions on abortion, was Tulsi Gabbard. By the what? way, restrictions after 28 weeks. That's seven months, far after the point Jeez. of viability. And guess what? You tarred and feathered her as a Russian asset. <laughs> This extreme, right. We all agree right. that once the baby's viable, that, that, that you As shouldn't rights. be able to have an abortion. All Democrats agree. And one uh, Democrat says, okay, so then how about like long after the viability cutoff, like seven months? Is that okay? Get out, Russia! <laughs> Democrats in New York City just recently celebrated legalizing abortion up until birth. Rhode Island became, Day I before. think, the, the eighth state. Was yeah. it the eighth? Was it Rhode Island eight? Number eight? I don't know. But... This, is, this is absolutely insane to me. They say, we all agree. This is something that is so intellectually lazy. And I want to know, you out there, people who are pro-life, when you argue this issue, what arguments you come, you, you find yourself at an impasse most consistently? Yeah. Okay, now I would say this. We've often seen people try to say, well, viability is subjective, or as long right. as it's dependent on the mother. And there are arguments to be had there because I don't think that they really hold up. The only consistent line that you can draw is the scientific, the biologically established line of conception. Right, but when you just say, well, everyone agrees on the left, we all agree after five. Okay, no, no. give me a week. Because <laughs> guess what? Leftist states yeah. can't even agree. If you go from Colorado to Vermont, no. where you can abort it all the way up to eight months, and some they don't agree. So you no. tell me, since it's so clear, because I just want to get a handle on where it is that you're coming from. And I certainly can't do it with the national DNC candidates. By the way, people who tend to be most affected by miscarriages, people who tend to feel it more deeply, would be people who believe that's an actual life. Yeah. So as someone who's had a deeply personal experience with whatever you want to guess, friends or family with miscarriages, I know how difficult that can be for the woman. Yes. And by the way, that's consistent with a conservative, a right-leaning worldview because we do believe that that is a life lost. Yeah. So let's not act as though the right are the, the, right are the ones who want to punish women because of miscarriages. And this is the thing that's just so lazy. Let's, let's recap it. The right wants to uh, ban all miscarriages, yep. no source yep. whatsoever. Right, none. Uh, ben Shapiro's arguments, which by the way, do, do not consist of banning miscarriages. I want to make sure in case I haven't been clear, he only makes these arguments because of Republican benefactors. 
And then everyone agrees on the point of viability for which they provide no timeline right. whatsoever. The only reason that people like the Young Turks or Seth Meyers or Trevor Noah or NBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, the only reason they can be this intellectually disingenuous and lazy is because there's been no accountability. Yeah. For years, no one would say when Brian Williams would just make shit up, would say, <laughs> hey, what, ho, what? Huh? That's all that's required. <laughs> we absolutely agree. Wait. Tell me then, what is the number? Well, it's something or other benefactors. No, no. No one's been able, no one's called him on it. Do you have any idea how terrified we would be to go out with arguments this paper thin? We would never do it. If I were going out to do a change my mind or do one of the debates that we have with plenty of leftists who've come on the show, and all I had for the pro-life position is, well, sperm is a life, I would be I would be soiling we, myself. We wouldn't yeah. even do it on the show. I would be going, yes, yeah. coming on the <laughs> show. Without somebody pushing back, we wouldn't do no it. No sources. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, this is gonna get blown up. Yeah. Someone's gonna do a rebuttal and they're going to be correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's very clear to me, it is increasingly clear, that people like Anna and Cenk have never actually debated the, uh, the topic yeah. of abortion, as seen by the fact that they present the most rudimentary arguments that have been thrown out completely yeah. and could be thrown out completely by a high school debate team captain. Yeah. You know, it doesn't even have to be captain. It could be third string whose parents made him join the debate team. He will say, uh, listen, I'm pro-choice, but I don't even believe the whole sperm stuff. Do you guys have a source oh for gosh. that? You're like, it's your benefactors. You're like, I literally oh just had, this is a public school. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this oh is really important for people who are out there when you are crafting your arguments to not sound like that. You know what? Let's yeah. make this a PSA. To, a PSA to not sound like Cenk or Anna. AKA stupid. Is, and when we do, when we do jujitsu, we have a team, um, and I've, I've helped coach jujitsu before. My mind is better than my body at this point. I, we always have a policy. We only teach techniques that actually work against world-class black belts. Yeah. You'll have some things that you learn early on, and then you try it. You go, well, that didn't really work because they just sort of teach you some basic concepts or fundamentals, yeah. but it's not the most effective technique. If it works on somebody who knows what they're doing, then that's something that you can trust. But you can only know that if you actually attempt to use that technique on someone who knows what they're doing. The same can be said for an argument. You only know if it holds water if you regularly engage in these kinds of discussions with people who might challenge you on them. Yeah. They don't do that. That's how you end up Ever. with, oh, fertilized egg It's just like a sperm and Republicans want to ban miscarriages. <laughs> We're going to upload this. I feel good about this. This is a good <laughs> idea. It's a good yeah. segment. Hey there, YouTube. If you like this video, click one of these other videos playing in a box uh, up there and hit subscribe or the notification bell if you're already subscribed so you can find out about our new uh, non-controversial videos, which don't ruffle any feathers and, of course, are not a violation of YouTube's algorithms. <laughs> Everyone's welcome here, <laughs> except I don't know if we are, but it's our channel. Uh, I'm not sure how that works.